you're gonna see these shirts in another video that we <laughs> that we are post. putting up but that's okay because sometimes you just gotta do things and in one sitting in one sitting and not change your shirts because that's not real life this is real life baby <laughs> welcome to my crib no it's an airbnb it's an airbnb sorry she tells me to talk too quiet on camera i'm being attacked right now well we were supposed to tell a heartfelt story but i guess we're starting off with attacks <laughs> <laughs> okay hello guys so today well you'll probably see by the title we want a trip from the bucket list family and i feel like most of my subscribers have, know about the bucket list family or follow them but if you don't know who they are they are this adorable awesome family who travel the world there's garrett and jessica they're the parents and then dorothy manila and callahan which are their three children and they've been traveling the world for i think it's like three years now like they're cut three or four years yeah. something crazy like that um and I've been following them since week 11 when they went to Tonga. And now they're on week like 100 and something. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I've been a fan of them for a while. And then... Yeah, so they had every every Christmas they do some kind of giveaway. Uh, just they're all about service. Not even a giveaway. It's like they just literally give... They gift people. Gift. It's a gift more yeah. like that. It's not like a, a giveaway like... Tag me in 18 photos, me and these 18 Do people. like a loop giveaway. I never yeah, do those. No, me neither. Anyway. <laughs> so they had a thing. Emma was like, can you apply for this? Can you write the essay and apply? She's like. Basically, what was the essay? It was. Well, we had to nominate somebody. Oh, yeah. And so she's like, you know, like, we should do this. Could you write it? And I was like, sure. Because for background, for people who haven't seen prior videos, these past nine, well, the nine months during all that, from last August, my dad was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and I became his full-time caretaker and I dropped out of school and things like that. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting, you know, if yeah. Summer nominated us, she had a lot of sacrifices as well, to kind of just nominate us, um, to just kind of see what happened. Yeah, we literally were like, let's try, we would love a vacation, let's put it in there. Yeah. Like, they probably get thousands of people. Yeah, they they, got, they so, get, like, thousands and thousands. So, she, you had to write an Instagram post, right? And you had to write an essay. Not an essay. You had to fill out a Google form that had, like, a nomination essay. I wrote, like, half a page on Word. Um, tag an Instagram about where you're from. And that was it. Oh, and subscribe and follow, which I already was doing. So, I write that. And, a f like, three weeks later, I'm at work. And I check my phone and I see Jess, her old handle, SETI4444, had liked my photo and I started profusely sweating. I was like, oh my God. I was like, <laughs> sweating. And I was like, what does this mean? And then I check my email like 20 minutes later and there's an email from her and it's like, hey Summer, thanks so much for your nomination. Can we talk today? And I was like, uh, uh. I, I, I saw she had liked her Instagram and I was like, what does that mean? Yeah, so here's the thing. I made the mistake of telling Emma that Jess had emailed me. I was trying to keep it a surprise, but I, was, I literally freaked out and I was like, Emma's like, this, we are so bad at keeping we secrets literally, with each other. Like, cause, like, the other one can tell when yeah, the so, person is like falling apart. So she was like, I, she liked your photo. I was like, she just emailed me. So then Jess called me later that day. I go into a closet at work. Like I'm literally in a supply closet talking to her and i thought it was like an interview kind of situation and she was like no like we really really want to give you and your family this trip i start crying thanking her profusely someone comes into the closet and is like can you be quiet like jess was talking she's like sorry you're being a little loud and i was like jess i'm sorry like i'm getting yelled at in my work closet um, yeah, so. And little do I know that any of this is going down. Summer, the only the thing, so I knew that, that she had emailed her. The only thing that Summer told me is that they interviewed her, and that was it. Yeah, I told Emma that Jess said that we were in the running, but she was interviewing a few families, and we would get back. So then cut to, you know, we're working out the travel arrangements. I booked a car, like, we got a car for them, you know. 
the thing I told Emma I'm was oblivious. <laughs> that I won tickets to Spongebob musical and that's how she was gonna because they were flying into LaGuardia and we she, Emma was in Jersey but we had to bring it to the city because like I couldn't feasibly drive them out to New Jersey because that's te I like can't yeah so drive she that. texted me and she was like you'll never believe like Friday it was sometime in December she was like I November it was like a Friday in November I was like I won tickets through work I thought it was December it was definitely in December no, it was, it was definitely after Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. And she, yeah, she was like, I won. SpongeBob SquarePants with backstage passes. I'm hype because I wanted to see SpongeBob the musical and, like, there's some actors in it who, like, I love. And I was like, oh, my God, what if I meet them backstage? So I am super pumped. And the plan was to meet at the Plaza Hotel um, beforehand for dinner. So cut to that Friday. And by the way, I'm watching the Bucket List Family story the entire time. A week before, actually no, the weeks leading up, Summer basically told me that she never heard back from them and would like literally melt down cry to me about how sad she was that she didn't win this for me. And I was like, this girl needs to stop. Like it wasn't that big of like And the I didn't tears care. came from I was so stressed that I wasn't able to tell her that I like would turn that anxiety into cry, like not anxiety. And I would, I would be like, I'm so sorry, because I really wanted to throw her off the trail, because I was worried that I ruined the surprise. I didn't want to let the G no. family down that I had ruined this, like uh, I that, was like so thrown off. Like I, I think I told everybody how, like how like crazily upset she was, and that she needs to like calm down. I and didn't know what to do. That ability to produce tears on, uh, quite on demand came in handy because on Friday, they were flying in from Atlanta. And Emma was like, oh, they're going to their third family today. Meanwhile, and I knew they were going to Queens because he made a joke, a Jamaican joke. And I was like, he's going to Jamaica, Queens. I started, I was sweating all that. She kept texting me about it. And I, they were coming from Atlanta. And it's the one time that Atlanta decided to have a snowstorm. But it was like two inches. So I was tracking their flight literally all day. And I see that their flight is boarding. Great. I got off work, like my team was like, go, like go to the airport, like you leave. Like, we're so excited for you. I was like, okay, I see their flights boarding. I was like, I'll just go to the airport and wait. I wanted, you know, hang out in JFK, whatever. Like I was excited to go to the airport. Went to the airport, their flight should have left. It was still boarding. And they were, I, turns out that they, Jessica called me that they were boarded and deboarded three times. Anyway, I was like, shoot call Emma and I was like she's I'm a wait I'm she's a waiting for me and I was like they're not even out on no, the ground I'm in Atlanta the, I'm at the plaza chilling I text them I was like is it okay if I go like get dinner so I'm at like a sit down I'm eating dinner and I get a call from her again sobbing sobbing because I was so scared I thought this was gonna ruin it no and she and was, I was like, like the tickets got changed like they got changed and it believed me thank and god and I'm like girl it's fine I'm like sitting I'm like I have time for dessert now and then like then literally. I'm sweating again because I was like wait a second because she she was like we're boarding so I was like okay they're gonna she's like we can do it late at night if that's fine I was like that's totally fine so I was like how am I gonna explain I mean like Emma's gonna expect me home she thinks I'm at work I was like and it was actually totally true a co-worker's last day and they were going out for drinks and I, you know, I was at the airport and I was like so it's her sock. I was like, do you mind, like, now that I can go out and celebrate her last day? And she's like, totally. I'm at JFK, like, just sitting there, texting my other roommate who's home. I was like, I'm going to need, like, that like, you can't tell Emma this. Uh, he knows everything. I was like, you have yeah, to Yeah, and I've been telling him, I'm like, Summer's been so upset. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to take a car home from the airport, like, with them. Like, I was like, they might be coming to the apartment. Uh, our roommate Steven is like, I'm on it. He's like low-key cleaning in case they have to come tonight. Yeah, the apartment was like slightly suspiciously clean. No, because they weren't supposed to come at all that first time. He cleaned it. But this, uh. So then, long story short, they got grounded, grounded in Atlanta, which you've seen in their videos. They were stuck. So I go back to New Jersey and she's like, I'm going to try to get our tickets replanned. And then they got replanned for that upcoming Wednesday, which if I had even checked... Ticketmaster, I would have seen that there wasn't a night Thank viewing God. of Spongebob Squarepants the music. I didn't even think. I didn't even look. I was just like... I didn't look either. <laughs> so, they had flown in like that Monday. Early, they were doing some stuff prior. Wednesday, I leave work. I meet them at their hotel. We get a car downtown. And Emma's waiting for me to go. I was like, I'll meet you after work. I'm going to drop off my stuff. And then we'll go back up to Times Square to see the show. And then... You know, we just drove down from their hotel. It was super nice. They're literally the nicest people alive. Um, and yeah, then we surprised her and we won 
this trip and they yeah. sat and chilled in their apartment and talked to us and it was awesome yeah i think like honestly just meeting them was like a gift enough because i've been following them for so long like yeah. literally like manila was like a year old and dorothy was like three was and then to see them like grown up like yeah. i've never i'm always behind on trends like i watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer, like 2013. How I Met Your Mother watched after it got canceled. You weren't even alive when Buffy started, though. Yeah, but like, <laughs> but like, I then I kept missing trends. Like How I Met Your Mother didn't even watch until after it was over. The Office barely watched it until after it was over. Parks and Rec only after it was over. Lost after it was over. So like, I miss trends of things. YouTubers too, but not the Bucket List family. I caught on that trend early. Yeah, so and I was, we got to FaceTime our dad and he started crying and he was so grateful and it was just like really great. Yeah, because originally he was supposed to come on this trip with us, but yeah. unfortunately he passed in April. Right. Um, but I think just knowing that we had this trip and that he had something planned just was like, he loved watching their videos too. Mm -hmm. So it was just really like a fun bonding experience. So yeah. overall we won a trip, basically anywhere Southwest flew. And Summer thought LA was a good idea, and I was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So basically, we can go anywhere Southwest flew, and then we got, she, um, she got a GoPro six. Yeah. yeah. And this backpack. Uh, which, okay, sliding back into my chair. What? If you've seen any of my videos, like I love these. Okay, the the pins don't come with it, but this is a Walker Family Goods backpack. I also have their duffel. So I got this, which I'm really glad that they like introduced me to this company because I really love their stuff. And then we also got a wallet. these thread wallets, which are like... They're actually handy. really handy. They're like... I'm a fan. There it is. There she is. Like a baby wallet. And like, it's so small, but nothing fall... Yeah. I can't even... Nothing fall... Like, the cards won't fall out, and I literally have like twin cards here and cash. And then, yeah, and then... Here's my GoPro. And then after we bought their adventure brands, which I 10 out of 10 recommend because this is like, hashtag not spawn this is not spawn no, I actually um, do but like yeah they're the good it's like headbands um I, wrap, I actually do wrap my camera in it because i don't have a camera bag um like they're good like sweatbands they're i use like, it when my hair is greasy and i don't want yeah it. so they're perfect hi <laughs> i want to hide it but then i also got this this gopro hero 6 it's like waterproof i'm like not good with really technology so this was like crazy but it's actually very easy to use and yeah I think yeah, I think that's it. So we're just super grateful, and we're gonna vlog this trip. Yeah, I'm just right in LA. You can't not vlog. But overall, we just thank you so much, G family. You guys yeah. are the best, and we love watching all your adventures. Right now, they're in Morocco, um, and yeah, we'll vlog just like you guys. <laughs> so thank you so much, Yay. and thank you guys for watching our videos. And stay tuned and subscribe for all of our LA and Disneyland vlogs. And I still have some Disney World vlogs coming up too, so. We're gonna go yeah. get coffee now, because I'm. Um... I know, yeah. It's basically 8 o'clock now. All right. Before the heat hits. Before it turns <laughs> But it shouldn't be 109 anymore, so. It's gonna be 101, actually. Yay! Love you guys.